Hey guys, it's your girl Tia. So I'm back with another As Mommy video. Happy Sunday and here we go. All right, first questions are from Nostalgia Fan. Hey Tia, hope you enjoyed Infinity War. Please no spoilers. I have not had the chance to see it yet. I will not be spoiling anything, but I will be doing my review for the movie today. <laughs> is Infinity War your new favorite MCU movie or is Black Panther still your number one? I gave both movies a 10 out of 10. And the 10 for the way that the story went with Black Panther. And I loved everything about it from the story to the action. I mean, everything. And then with Infinity War, so much action, jaw-dropping scenes. Um, they, the whole movie was filmed in IMAX uh, cameras. So watching it in IMAX was amazing. So if I had to choose between... Black Panther and Infinity War. I think I'm about to cry just thinking about the movie. Oh my god. Um, if I had to put them in order, I think Infinity War would be 1A and then Black Panther would be 1B. <laughs> because I can't say that Black Panther is number two. I know I'm going to have to decide once I do my video since now that Infinity War has finally come out. I can do all of my MCU movies in order of how I love the films. So I will be doing that later on this week. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on. <laughs> Have you seen any of the super easy, barely and inconvenience videos on YouTube? It is my new favorite series and it makes me laugh so hard. My favorite ones are the DCEU movies and, fa and Fantastic. I didn't know anything about them. Uh, if they're funny, I'm going to check them out. Should I may react to them? So, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, what did you think about God of War and how does it compare to the others? God of War is fucking amazing. I am still playing that game. I'm doing a couple of videos today. And then I'm going to hop on that for the rest of the day. <laughs> God of War is the shit. Now, I only played two. I didn't play the first one or the third one. Yeah, I know. Um, once I can afford to get, you know... Uh, was, I think it's PS Now, where they have all the old games, um, and I saw God of War, the whole series, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, because when I, when I bought the Uncharted series, I beat all three of them in, what, in like a day? <laughs> Not all three of them in a day, but you know, each one in like a day or two, so um, I definitely want to do that with uh, one, two, and three. Yeah, but it's awesome, and I love it. I, I it's amazing. It's amazing. All right. Have you seen the trailer for Shadow of the Tomb Raider? No, I have not. I'll be reacting to that today, too. All right. Last question from Nostalgia Fan. From what you have seen in his trailer, how does Venom look in the trailer compared to his appearance in the Spider-Man movie, which shall not be named? <laughs> He's so silly. Um, Of course, this Venom looks like 10 times better. And the movie that shall not be named, that's what, 11, 10, 11 years old? And not saying that I'm blaming technology because I'm not, because that whole movie was trash. Thank God I was able to see it for free. Not bootleg, I had friends that worked at a theater, so I was able to see it for free. But I am so happy that I did not have to pay for that trash. And to see Venom in his own film, Tom Hardy, out of all people, love him. And then seeing Venom, it like looking like that. I mean, he actually looks like himself. It's, it's jaw dropping. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thanks for the question, sweetie. All right, next question is from Random Black Gamer. All right, lol. Good to know you're maxing out your PS4 with all those awesome exclusives. Are you gonna do a review for God of War? See, I haven't completed it yet. And I, yeah, I beat it, you know, but I didn't complete it. So I didn't think I was going to do a review, but I can tell you what I think about the game. Uh, the Definitely the what I love the most about the game. It's perfect, 10 out of 10. My homeboy been yelling <laughs> that it's game of the year. <laughs> like, since we got that trailer last year, and he's been screaming game of the year, game of the year, game of the year. I think it was at E3 when we saw it last year. And 2016. So. Um, and PSX. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but um, I love the um, 
the chemistry between him and his son. Because, I mean, kids are not idiots anyway. And the way that he speaks to his father and vice versa, it, I love that. The dynamic between the two is, is, is hilarious. I love it. That, I think that's my favorite, like, I guess, thing out of that entire game. And he's not as bloody and gory as he was in the other games from what I have saw. Or what I have saw. What I've seen. And um, that's okay. But some of the executions that he does to the you know bad guys in there still pretty damn brutal love it the story is absolutely amazing Mamir is one of the I guess people that help you throughout the game and um, the stories that he tells about Thor and Odin and all the giants and fair oh my goodness it's just it's amazing I love it I love it and he's an asshole in a good way so I love I love that that, that um I guess because he talks to he talks to Loki a lot. Ooh, hope I didn't spoil anything. I j I just said it right off the back of my head. But yes, our right, Atreus' name is Loki. That's what his mom wanted to call him. And um, they have a pretty funny I guess chemistry as well. So, but the game in its entirety is amazing. The landscapes are amazing. I mean, the, the whole game is beautiful. And mind you, I'm playing on a regular PS4, not the Pro. And I don't have a 4K TV. I got a 48-inch LCD, 1080p. And it looks amazing. So, yeah, I love that game. I absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, last questions are from Fred Johnson. Now that you've seen Infinity War, is it officially number one in your top Marvel movies? I can't truly answer that yet. I guess I'm just going to roll with what, what I told Nostalgia. Because that would have to be 1A in Black Panther, 1B, or vice versa. I, I, I can't really say right now. I'm going to have to really think about it and decide what I want to do. It feels like that's the hardest decision of my life. <laughs> All right, number two, which of the Infinity Stones is your favorite? Ooh, good question. I think I'm going to go with um, the Time Stone. I mean, the reality one I like too, but you can only fake it for so long. It's kind of depressing. But, uh, yeah, Time Stone, going back in time. And especially after seeing what Doc Strange did, I'm not going to spoil anything. That's fucking awesome. So, yeah, I don't know if he did that with the time stone or if he just did that with something that he knew how to do. I don't know. But that's that that stone is, uh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Do you think social media is the reason why a lot of people are single in this era? No, I don't. I think a lot of people are single in this era because their expectations are too fucking high or standards, both. Um... Some of them need to humble themselves. And I can say that in both men and women. Um, yeah. So I don't think it's social media. I mean, because even though when you look at people and other people's relationships on social media, it doesn't mean it's that what you see is what you get. I mean, everybody has problems. You know what I mean? And then when they see the rich and famous, in their relationships, they be like goals. But I'm like, that dude could be a man beater. I mean, a woman beater. Um, he could be cheating. Vice versa, she could be doing the same thing. I mean, you really don't know. So no, social media is not the reason why they're single. At least I don't think, in my opinion. People choose to do what they want to do. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, what would your ideal cruise with family and friends be like? Um, we would definitely have to go somewhere we've never been before. A seven-day cruise, I would say, to Hawaii. Never done it, haven't done it yet. We'll be doing it. It's on my bucket list. And, um... But yeah, I think I think that's what I would want to do with family and friends. Yeah. All right. Last question. After Aladdin and Lion King, what do you think should be the next live Disney movie made and who should be cast in the movie? Look, honey, we got too many fucking Disney movies. This is about what? 50, 60, 100 shit. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a lot to think about, honey. It's too early in the morning for that. <laughs> but no, um, I don't know. I, I truly don't know because that's that's a lot of movies seriously all jokes aside, <laughs> that's a lot of disney movies um i guess after aladdin and lion king they said they was gonna do a, um 
unless they scrapped it, they were going to do a um, mermaid. They was going to do a mermaid. It's going to be two versions of it. The clean one and then, uh, I guess, a dark version. So, um, I would like to see that. Definitely. And I think they already cast some people in it. So, I would definitely want to see that. So, yeah. I don't know who would be Ursula or Ariel right now, though. Have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> but, um, I do appreciate all the questions, as usual. You guys are awesome. Love it. I have a whole lot of new subscribers, and I want to welcome you guys to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, questions, whatever, you can definitely put them in this video. That's what my Ask Miami series is for. Um, so I hope to see a lot more questions next week. You guys have an awesome Sunday. Just relax. If you don't have to work, I don't, thank God. <laughs> So I'm just doing videos all day and then hopping on God of War. Um, so I hope to see a lot of questions next week as usual. And I will see you guys in my next Ask Mama video. Alrighty. Deuces.